Look who's back. Do you want to ride in the front? Let's do it. Yeah, let's ride in the front. What do you think? Are you excited? Yes. It feels like old times. It does. Yeah. There's our chariot. It's the one we're going to get on. Oh, cool. All right. Watch your stuff. Oh, Go for it, love. Thank you, kind gentlemen. Oh, yeah, I'm tall enough that my head doesn't hit the parking structures. <laughs> as a you know, reminder, another flashback I'm having getting on the tram right now because it's a cold day is like just how cold it can get when you're on the tram. We'll yeah, that's why I wore my big coat Thank with you. a hood. I knew that uh, I was going to have to endure the wind. So. Yeah, because you get on the tram sometimes at the end of the night oh, and it's just cold and the wind is going through and you're just freezing on the way back to your car. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes during the day on the way to the park it's like that. Today's one of those days. It's like in the 40s right now. Yeah. Maybe maybe the low 50s, but yeah. it's not supposed to get much hotter than, than the low 50s today. So it's a beautiful day though. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Yeah, right now it's 50 degrees. We're going to see a high of 57 and a low of 40. Oh, Para tu seguridad, favor de permanecer sentados con las puertas cerradas, manteniendo tus manos, brazos, pies y piernas adentro mientras el tranvía está en movimiento. Y vigilen a sus niños. Gracias. Tram is ready. Oh, nice. <laughs> Tram will continue running one hour after park close. We used to have to walk this 10 mile path from the Mickey and Friends parking structure to the Disneyland Esplanade and that 25 mile trek was just horrible. And now we, we don't have to walk that 38 miles anymore. We can just take a nice little coast on the tram. Monorail path. Hello, oh, lady friends. I have to approach our destination. Make sure you remain seated with the doors closed at all times so the tram comes, so full complete stop. You're going to be safely exiting out on the driver's <laughs> left hand side and on the driver's left hand side only. Once again, that's the driver's left hand side and left hand side only. Do I even remember what the left hand side is? I don't remember. crazy that the tram we got on was my favorite number. Yeah. It's meant to be serendipitous. All right, let's get into Disneyland and have some fun. Yeah. Good morning from Disneyland. We are back at our happy place. Today is the first day that the trams are back in operation since the start of the pandemic. It was great riding the tram. I mean, it's been so long I forgot what it was even like. But yeah, we came to do that and to pick up our free sunglasses because we are key holders and they're giving those away for a limited time until the 28th of February. Yeah, I'm excited to get my hands on a pair. It's kind of a cold, windy day and sometimes there's magic on the winds. What do you say we get some breakfast and then uh, see what we can find? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Happy birthday, Matt. We love you and miss you. Thirty to forty-five minutes. So let's go look around. We'll All back. right, let's go shopping. Let's go. Whoa! Hold the phone. Here's something I've never seen before. The hunt for the years continues. Yes, I do need a pair. These are nice. I love a big pink bow. Hopefully, it won't mess up my hair. What do you think? Are these are these the ones? They look good. I mean, I usually say they all look good. I know. <laughs> Never trust but, you. <laughs> I mean, I they're cool. Goggles. Are they my favorite ones you've tried on? No, I don't think so. Oh, look, there's a mirror. But they are cool. This might be the day you get your ears, I don't know. I think the D, the little D charm is what's winning me. Yeah? Yeah, let's see, let's check out. Check out these purple ones. Yeah, I think I like the, the D ones more. 
Ooh, those are really cool, actually. And they kind of have that iridescent sort of vibe that you love. I do love iridescent. They just love the bright pink. And those are cool, but I don't know. There's just something about them that doesn't seem like you. I know. They do look a little serious, right? Yeah, they look a little serious. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Good call. Okay, so both of these ears are $29.99 if you're in the market. Oh, this backpack is so cute. Some fresh Dooney and Burke. Yes, I do need a new backpack. See the, the, the guts, bright red. <laughs> it's nice. A little cell phone pocket. How much, how much do you think this is, babe? How much do I think that is? Yeah. One thirty. Fire. Stuart, Fire. what do you think? <laughs> well, I already know. You already, you already know? know? Okay, I'm going to guess... Two hundred and seventy-five. A little bit lower. Oh. A little bit lower. Oh, Two hundred and sixty-eight. Okay. I was off by just a few bucks. Your Dooney and Burke Robin Hood purse was less than that, right? I think I paid about this. Yeah. Thank you, Stuart. Option three for ears. I've seen these ones before, and they're pretty cool. They've got a bunch of different characters on them. It's not just like one universe. It's kind of all of them featured. It's cool. It's like all the lands, things you can find in all the lands of Disneyland. I'm going to say, though, that churro right there kind of looks like a cigarette, like at first glance. <laughs> to me, it did, which was hilarious. I was like, is that a cigarette on there? You can go from Adventureland to Frontierland to Smoking Land. No, we don't want that. We don't want Smoking Land. It's been a while since I've been in this store. How beautiful is this little alcove where they, you know, merchandise? This is so beautiful. I feel like I'm in New York entering like a fancy hotel or a fancy apartment building or something. This is this is awesome. What a cool spot for merchandise. Is this a lounge fly you haven't seen before? Yeah, it's a uh, Mickey and Minnie. It's themed on the Runaway Railroad. Is that what it's runaway called? Runaway Railway? I think Runaway so. Railway? Yeah, it's themed off of the Runaway. Is that what it is? Runaway. It's a hard one. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> I just have to read it and then I'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is new or not, but it might be. It might be. I mean, I feel like it's, it's new to here. us. Here, I mean, I haven't seen this one yet. New to us. Mm -hmm. Runaway railway. That's cool. What does the inside look like? Let's check it out. Let's, Let's see. see. What do the guts look like? Just a lot of stuffing. Oh, Pies and cowboy hats. And That's really cute. Yeah. This one's sweet. I've wanted to get a tropical shirt for a long time. Something to wear at a resort. Something to wear when we go back to Hawaii, which we are planning to do soon. Foolish Portals will be there. It's going to be exciting. Uh, and the tropical shirts never fit me. Like, that's a 3XL, but even the small is really big. Like, that's not going to fit me. It's, I'm going to be swimming in it. And I want to, you know, I want to be swimming in the ocean, not in my shirt. So, you know, Disney, you got to make a uh, tropical resort shirt that Kyle can wear. Come on. I haven't seen this hat before, and this is a really cool hat. It's like the plaque above the tunnel as you're walking in. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Yeah, it's just like the plaque when you're entering. It's super cool. I always wanted to wear that plaque on my forehead. Yeah, you have talked about it a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, now you can. Fashion. And you look great in hats. Here, put that on. <laughs> no, oh my god. It looks okay, so bad. you'll ruin your hair. No, no, it's okay. I'll just. I don't have hairspray. That's fine. Let's see. I don't look very good in hats, though, babe. Especially baseball hats. Oh my gosh! My Actually, you look fantastic in that one. It's sitting weird on my head because of my bun in the back. No, I'm like, it probably seems like I'm just saying that, but in all honesty, that, that looks great on you. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. you should get that one. Or think about it, you know, for the future. I don't have to put on my thinking cap for this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see, it is a sad mirror. It's all tall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, it looks okay. Oh my God. With, with the sunglasses, you look fabulous. And the coat. Yeah. Ready for the streets of London. 
Yeah, you gotta. We gotta <laughs> tame those flyaways now. You got. Yeah, now I gotta brush my. You're hair. right. You're right. Don't worry. You look windswept, like like you've been out in the Southern California winds. Fifty degrees feels like thirty-eight. Mm. What'd you find? A Leota candle or a tombstone candle. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Brother Dave. Hi Dave. That is totally up our alley. Oh yeah, hi Dave. What does it smell like? It kind of smells like the plastic liner of a fruit roll. The blue one. <laughs> so That's, random. That is the closest. <laughs> I don't know who you, you smell. You tell me what you think this smells right, like. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do you think that smells like? Oh my gosh. That does smell like a fruit roller. <laughs> but it's not necessarily like a, a like really strong fruity smell. To me, it smells like the actual fruit yeah, that's in the fruit roll up. Yeah, it does smell like a fruit roll up. Weird. Yeah, I don't, don't think of water. fruit roll up when I go on Haunted Mansion. <laughs> It's called, okay, the scent is called Castle Garden, Jardín del Castillo. Castillo. It's very floral. Can I smell it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I like it. It's like geranium or something like that. Mm. That's probably not what it is, but. 30, okay, so it looks like the trend is 34 now. I really dig this scans. castle one. I like this one. That this is good. This is up my yeah, alley. Nice. Spiced apple. Ooh, and the candle mm. is green. That's beautiful. Let's see. Get a, get a whiff. Mmm. Ooh. It's a very tart. It's got dust in my nose. It's a very tart apple scent. That's very nice. Like a sour candy. My mouth is watering. <laughs> all right. I think we've I think we've sniffed out the candles to yes, their fullest. All of them. Let's go sniff out some more merch. Okay. Oh, Kyle, I found your weakness. Ooh. A brand wow, that's new cool. Star Wars mug. Oh, I like that. It's like R2 projecting Leia? Yes. Wow. Yes, when Leia is uh, uh, -oh. uh, -oh, uh -oh. How much is it? $19.99. Oh, it's not bad. It's a cool mug. It's a big mug. You can put a lot of coffee in here. That's awesome. Oh, so the Star Wars mug just came in this morning, actually. That's why we haven't seen it before. And I'm gonna hold on to it because I might have to take one home. Oh my god. This is awesome. You have like a million mugs. <laughs> Did you snort? <laughs> I know I have a million mugs, but it's because I use them. I drink coffee like it's my religion and uh, and this is a great mug. This is really cool. Okay, you said you found another mug? Show yes, me. there's actually like a lot of new mugs that came in today. So we have an 80th anniversary Dumbo mug. Oh, wow. With his mama. That one came in this morning too? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, that's cool. Oh, that's really pretty, 1999 as well. That is pretty. And Princess Jasmine, anyone who grew up in the 90s is gonna love this one. Sticker. Oh, there's a sticker here and it says magically reveal hidden art with hot liquids. Oh, cool. And so I guess when you pour your hot liquid, the lamp is going to reveal a puff of smoke and genie. Sweet. Yeah, we have something like that at home. Oh, this one actually magically reveals hidden stuff too when you put hot liquid in it. Okay, I'm taking this home because I, oh I, I want to test this out. What? Do I have too many mugs? Our cabinet is like this big, and it's already full to the brim. Oh, there's just some bees on the back. Oh, that's a great little mug. You know who would love that? My mom. Really? My mom loves Eeyore. Oh. Oh my gosh, this handsome double. Let's see. Oh wow. This is new for sure. I haven't seen this. One. I've seen this this chip one. I don't recall them asking me if they could use my likeness on a mug. <laughs> oh gosh. How cute. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Almost had a crisis. Oh my gosh. You know what? In your defense, this is a very top heavy mug. <laughs> oh 
I get excited. I get a little too excited. Look at how cute you can take. You can have a Beauty and the Beast collection. Yeah. You can have Chip. I love that they have a little spoon. That's awesome. That's so sweet. Oh, look, there's a, an up one as well. A little spoon. That's good. Awesome. I think you're literally upset at me that I'm getting this mug. <laughs> Here's my face. I mean, can you blame me? It's an awesome mug and it says it reveals something magical, I, you know. Oh, look at that wrapping. Wow. Look at this fancy wrapping. This is incredible. It's going to keep my mug safe all day. That's awesome. My new mug that you're so happy I got. <laughs> We have 10 minutes to get to Carnation Cafe from the center of the park or the center of Main Street. Yes. The end of Main Street, actually. And uh, here I come. I don't know what I'm talking about. We just need to get to Carnation because I think you only have 10 minutes to get there or you lose your table. So. Not today. Let's go get our, our waffles. I'm hungry. Look at this cute little corner table. You look so good there. This is the perfect spot to eat some Mickey waffles. Okay, Carnation Cafe, if you want to check out the menu, we're about to start browsing it ourselves. The air smells like coffee and potatoes. I predominantly smell potatoes and maple syrup. Uh, I just love breakfast. The smell of breakfast is just uh, intoxicating. Just one sugar in the rock. Mm -hmm. One. And some soy milk. That's nice that they offer a plant-based milk. Yeah. That's how we're doing coffee this morning. Cinnamon in them, I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cinnamon, spice, it's like sweet. It tastes like apple pie with the apples and the cinnamon and the oats. You get some of that banana in there. It's actually really good. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to like this so much. Finally, the day has come. I know. I'm so excited. I've always seen pictures of the Mickey waffles. Finally get to try them. I don't even know how to start. Can I just dunk it? Dunk it? It's dense. It's heavy. Do it. Give it a dunk. We ordered the Mickey waffles and made sure to tell them we wanted the, the vegan version. So we got the waffles and potatoes instead of meat and stuff. They gave us the option of fruit or potatoes. And since I was getting a plant-based overnight oats with fruit, we got the potatoes. And plus we are potato people here at Polish Portals. How is it? Good? Phenomenal. I can't wait for you to try it. All right, well, I think I'll put this down for now while we enjoy our breakfast. Mm. Oh, breakfast was so good. I'm so full. How were, how were your waffles? Oh my gosh. It was better than what I imagined. It just reminded me of my childhood. I'm 
so cool and happy. This is this has really been a beautiful morning at the park. Yeah, breakfast was amazing. Now it's time to go see what else we can get up to. We actually met a really lovely couple, Dolores yeah. and Jorge. From Phoenix, and, Arizona. Uh, so hello, <laughs> if you're watching. We had a great breakfast with you. We, uh, we're definitely going to stay in touch with them. They were so cool. We just sat and had an awesome breakfast and great conversation. And uh, yeah, that's one of the things you have to do when you come to Disneyland is just be open to those, those types of magical moments where you make friends and meet new people. Yeah. And, that was an awesome breakfast. Yeah, it was really cool. It was like as if we were old friends just having breakfast. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad has a 20 minute wait. It's, uh, I'd say that's a win. That's, that's pretty a good. Win. <laughs> 20 minutes for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is not that bad. Uh, I think it's worthwhile to wait in line and enjoy this cold day on a nice outdoor roller coaster <laughs> not at all gonna make us feel even more cold <laughs> in the spirit of trains and the tram coming back we'll jump on a, a train ride yeah that's get pretty started. fast we're almost there we were in line for like three minutes yeah it wasn't so bad you look fabulous <laughs> Thank you. Did we get the front row? It's the best day ever at Disneyland. Everything is going smoothly and in our favor. <laughs> All right. Big Thunder Mountain Row Road. Here we go. Front row, baby. I'm sorry, the coffee just hit. I'm like really pumped.
that was fun. That was really fun. Oh my god, that trains. I am loco. I am loco. Alright, alright. That was awesome. Time to disembark. And here's the end of Frontierland and the beginning of Batu. How do you feel uh, with your new lightsaber clip? Taking it for a spin, it feels great. I like it. Is it weighing down your pants? It's a little heavy, but uh, I don't want those guys to see it. So. so I was talking with one of the First Order cargo cast members. It turns out this is actually the First Order cargo storage. Um, and this store is holding some of their cargo. And the First Order needs to make some credit so that they can pay for that cargo. Right now it's kind of being held by this little store. And they need to earn some credit so they can pay for it. This merchandise serves as kind of a way that people can help the First Order pay for the cargo that's being stored here. I love how friendly and insightful the uh, First Order cargo cast members are. I've been asking questions to try to understand like, you know, what 709 is and understand, you know, what the store is all about. I didn't understand what 709 was and I just asked and actually it's the number of the infantry that was sent by the First Order to Batu to look for resistance. And infantry 709 is, you know, those guys out there right now that we passed by on the way into the First Order store. Here's a 709 shirt. You can represent Infantry 709. If you want. Dig it. Dear Diary, I want to making great strides channeling the dark side. I started my day in a room full of Padawans. I cleared the room. Let's just say that. Heart, <laughs> Anakin. Oh yeah? <laughs> Haven't you been seen with resistance sympathizers? Nope. Not at all. Good here. Let's keep it that way. We will be watching. Dang, are you first order or are you uh, resistance? Because I can't tell. Maybe I'm a little bit of both. Mm. You look like you could be rolling around with Cassie and Andor. <laughs> I might know him. All right, let's get out of here. Do I want one? Do I need one? Can I just like carry him here and like put him in a little fanny pouch? <laughs> so cute! I think you got camera shy. That's one cold droid. <laughs> We're looking for that polo shirt I got a week ago. One of our friends told us he really liked it and wanted one. And uh, he's recovering from hip surgery. So, Steve, we're trying to make your dream come true, get you that polo shirt. They don't have it in Galaxy's Edge, so we're going to head to Star Trader because I know they have it there. So, off to uh, Tomorrowland we go. Find that shirt for Steve. Yeah, let's go find that polo shirt. Wow, look at this. Galactic Snack and Grogu. <laughs> Interactive and comes with four accessories. Oh my gosh, it's like the little bowl of soup with the octopus looking thing in it. So he's got the macaron, the, what is it, Navarro Nummies? Something like that. <laughs> oh, and a little ball and a spoon. That's cool. So it's animatronic. Animatronic. Yeah, let's turn this around. Ages oh, you can, up. you can see his little mouth moves. It's got the like, you know, ability to move. I wish there was an open this one. Cool. So it looks like his arms can go up and down and he makes noises. He goes, wah. How funny. <laughs> I love it. Aww.
It's cool. And how much is that? Let's see. Crowd, what do you guys think it is? How much do you think this is? <laughs> Kyle, what do you, what do you think? I think Galactic Snack and Grogu is probably $29.99. Yikes. It is $89.99. Wow, I way undershot it. Yikes. All right, well, for $89.99, you can snack with Grogu. It's pretty cool. All right, here's the shirt we wanted to get our friend Steve as he's recovering from hip surgery. He messaged us, he saw our video and said he wants to get his hands on one. So uh, I think we're gonna try to make that magic happen for him. Cause I don't think he'll be back in the parks very soon, maybe in a couple weeks, few weeks, but let's grab one for him. So it turns out Star Traders does not have a large in stock. They've only got a extra large, but they double checked and uh, the Star Wars trading post in downtown Disney has 10 larges. So I think we're gonna have to cruise over there and pick up a large. Here we are, Star Wars trading post. We're gonna head in and try and find Steve his large. I was reminding Zoe that the only person we've ever bought anything for on this channel, I'm pretty sure is Steve. So far, we've gotten him his birthday gift, and now we're getting him a recovery gift while making a video, so. <laughs> You're one special guy, Steve. All right, Target acquired, and they had a large, as promised, they have a, a bunch of them. So once again, cast members proving to be the gems of this planet. Steve, your shirt is in hand, and we'll be with you shortly. We're on our way to try to get our Magic Key Holder sunglasses, and we noticed the food and wine booths are up. Opening soon, food and wine festival. Exciting, March 4th to April 26th. I think we'll be coming to that. Yeah, I'd like to do that. We're yeah. definitely doing it. There's such a big window, March 4th to April 26th. We'll definitely be here within that window. I mean, Food and wine is always really fun. There's always great food and obviously wine. <laughs> so. Who doesn't love that combo? But let's get over to that uh, Magic Key Holder sunglasses situation because I want to see yeah. if we can still get a pair. I'm hoping that we can, we can get a pair because for one, you forgot yours. And it's while supplies last. Yeah, yeah, so I'm hoping that we've made in time. I think that the glasses are free. I think they're giving out the exclusive glasses till the 28th. Yeah, while supplies last, right? So we got to get there and try to see if we could get some. Yes, I would love to to get a pair. Let's do it. Let's go see if we can. Hello. Just make sure to have our annual passes ready and those annual tickets. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Have fun. All right. We found it. There's a today. Oh, thank oh, wow. you. Lovely. And, our and some sunglasses. sunglasses. Nice. I forgot mine today, so I, I need them. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Here you go, honey. Looks like we got some posters and some sunglasses. I'm really excited. Magic Key logo. Yep. UVI protection. Thank you, Disney. Appreciate it. All right. Let's see. How do I look? <laughs> you look good. Not, not my usual style, but I can maybe pull it off for today. And maybe I would lower the glasses just a little. Give like yourself that? that little cool edge. Yeah. yeah see, like that. Yeah. All right, that feels right. Like, yeah. It feels right on the nose, right Ooh, on the let's bridge. Let's see. Let's get a little. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm. cool. Close enough to see all my pores. Stop. You're beautiful. You look good. All right. All right. I mean, now my eyes are protected, so. <laughs> Oof, it is cold. Uh, so I think that's a wrap for us here at Disneyland, but. We had a great day. We got to ride the tram on its first day back and we got to finally get that plant-based breakfast that Zoe's been wanting from Carnation Cafe. So all in all, a really good day. Yeah, we found our gift for our buddy Steve to wish him a speedy recovery. And we checked out some new merch and Kyle even added a new mug to his 
collection. I did. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining us. And if you enjoyed that, please hit like on the video. And if you want to join us on the next Polish portal, please hit subscribe. Thank you and hurry back. Bye. We ask that you please observe this speed limit and yield the right of way to this line of vehicles.